guys, it's Nana, Foxy Mama 365, back again with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 13, episode 7, and it's called, yeah, uh, the Jet Set and the Upset, okay? Um, before I start, I wanted to say a happy birthday to Kenya Moore, it was her birthday yesterday, I believe it was, so happy birthday Kenya, and also, it was also announced a day before her birthday that Mark Daly and Kenya were getting this split so they have kind of agreed to get this divorce and it's kind of shady and shitty that he decides to drop this or sign it or agree to it or whatever it is a day before her birthday or they release this information a day before her birthday like what kind of act like this is like this is such a jerky move like you couldn't even say okay let me wait for it let me let me let this girl have her birthday and that is end. but anyway Sometimes people think they're doing bad things to you or trying to hurt you, but they don't know that, you know, it's actually planning out for your good. So, yeah, I just, I just think Mark was, that was just a jerky thing to do, right? It be for, a day before her birthday. Moving on. Did you guys get, catch up with the Keisha Cole and um, the Versus anyways with, what's her name again? Oh, jeez. Any which is, you know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I didn't catch it on Thursday, but I watched literally everything the day after because I was like this, that, and the other. But anyways, I was like, what in the world? It was kind of, who do you guys think won? In my mind, I am thinking the chair won. <laughs> because for like about 30 minutes off so Keisha Cole was nowhere to be found which was kind of ridiculous and then she came in and she didn't apologize to her shanty Ashanti that's what it is she didn't apologize to her shanty she didn't apologize to her to the viewers she was like okay where are we where are we where are we you know let's hit it off and then they start going back and forth with who's gonna start and Ashanti had been really patient holding it down and you know you know speaking with with you know her people there and with the DJ and going which was kind of cool right and she's like I'm gonna hold it down for you sis you know so like yeah you know and she didn't really she didn't force about her coming late but then for Kisha Cole to get in there and not apologize or even say hey guys I'm so sorry like I know she just had a baby right she had a baby about a month or two months or, or not not too long ago right and she could have actually just said, oh, you know what, my baby was, you know, and I just need to just, you know, sometimes the kids, you know, and that would have been, you know, an easy, even if that wasn't what it was. Later on, her, the DJ came up and was interviewed and he was like, oh, her screen was not, was fuzzy. And I'm like, what kind of dumb excuse is that? Because this thing had been planned for months back and had been cancelled. So there was really no excuse not for Kisha Cole not to be ready. And of course she came in and she had an attitude. What do you guys think? A lot of people were very upset at her, her attitude. I think by the time people had been kept waiting for over 30 minutes, you know, and they didn't see her and then she came in and she was like, okay, let's go, let's go, you know. And then she had a piss poor attitude. People were like, you know, they didn't even care. And I think prior to this, people thought Kisha Cole was going to kill it. She was, you know, going to win. But at the end of the day, they've seen Ashanti's, you know, you know, demeanor and being cool and all of that. For me, Ash I, I know more Ashanti songs, maybe probably because of where I grew up, right? You know, probably that, I don't know, but I'm not really that familiar with Kisha Cole and her songs. But a lot of people say, oh, she has a wider range. But Kisha Cole didn't even sing. <sighs> Anyways, at, by the end, it was like, okay, they were going back and forth. Who's going to... It was just kind of like... It, you could see that at this point, Ashanti was kind of like um, trying not to be upset, you know, but you could tell that obviously she felt disrespected. Um, later on, I think Kisha Cole went on her life and was kind of like making excuses or trying to apologize. I don't even know what she was talking about. I, I, I really couldn't be bothered. But for me, Ashanti for the win because I just felt Ashanti, did, she did that. She looked great. She looked put together, she looked composed, she was there on time. She kind of, you know, had some kind of respect for her, for the fans, and she was singing. That pretty much was what it was for a lot of people that, you know what, if you're going to be doing such a show, you expect it to actually sing and not just be humming and all of that. So, yeah. And it was kind of messy because the ladies kept on getting up and, well, every once or, they took a break once or twice. And, uh, so a few people, they, sometimes they would be on their phones or they were talking to people. It was like, ugh. It just, um, anyways, we enjoyed it, it was free, okay? <laughs> Moving right along, yeah, Real House of Atlanta, the jet set and the upset. Um, yeah, 
So the divorce will be in effect for for Kenya very soon. Uh, Kenya is now with Latoya. They're doing lunch, and uh, Kenya gives Latoya some underwear. Okay, girl, we see you. Uh huh. Yes, mama. <laughs> Sugar mama. So Drew calls on the phone and Drew tells them he's inviting Kenya for lunch. What's going on? And she lets her know. But before this, she's already told Latoya that they're going to be getting on a private jet for just four people. And she's upset at Mark at this point because Mark is like, oh, she can't take their daughter, their beautiful daughter, anywhere outside the country without his permission. She also can't do some ads for her hair care line with her daughter, which is kind of sad. You also, you also actually you see, notice that we really haven't seen anything of her daughter, even as we have been filming, pretty much they've literally not shown her at all, you know, which is kind of sad. So I'm guessing that that's because Mark is insisting that um, either he has to get permission or rights have to be, you know, taken before they're able to do that. Anyways, she's got in the private jet and they're going to be going all the way to, she decided to go to South Carolina, somewhere in South Carolina. They found this beautiful beach house because ladies want to go to the beach and take a little holiday. So she'll be going to go be with Latoya. So she gets on the phone with Drew, who Drew's inviting them for dinner and says, yeah, cool, Latoya can come as well. However, she says, you know what, um, don't tell anyone, but I'm going to be getting a private jet for the, just the four of us to go ahead so we can kind of get things ready for you guys and all of that. Okay, girl. <laughs> Moving on, I think Mark is a jackass, period. Drew's having this dinner and I, and I love Drew's wig. Her wig looks fine at this moment, anyways. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Ralph is helping out with the decoration. And you guys, let's say a prayer for Drew and Ralph and their marriage. Lord Jesus, do not let Bravo split this marriage. Amen. Mm hmm. Cynthia arrives first, she's looking kind of nice, Candy comes in next, she's like, oh, she comes right in because no one's opening the door, and Candy's like, oh, the wig she has on, she doesn't know anything about it, she didn't even see the wig, she thought, you know, after all that mess that Latoya was spitting about Drew's wig, she would be like, there'll probably be no hell on Drew's head, but anyways, maybe she's just having a bad day, okay, like all of us do from time to time. Then Kenya shows up, of course, and Kenya is looking really drab. And of course, they're talking about bad hair day. They show Kenya <laughs> with her hair just kind of slinked down and there's a long ponytail right behind. So yeah, they get to drinking and they're doing some shorts and then Portia comes in and Portia goes to join the ladies and of course, Portia's guest to spill in the tea. Yeah, Portia says, <laughs> ooh, Ralph is all kind of okay. Oh, mm, looks like he just got out of the, you know, he just got out of a walkout and he's like, okay, maybe we should give him something to lift. Lift the table. Mm -hmm. The ladies are having a good laugh, a good kitty. And of course, the, the producers can't help but ask Portia, what do you think about Ralph? Oh, 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 that's Kenya's department, aka Kenya's life. Achoo, Apollo. <laughs> yeah, so she like, and of course, we see Kenya saying, well, he looks mighty kind of fine and all of that. And I'm like, girl. Kenya, you really haven't learned your lesson. You should never, after that whole Apollo stuff, you should never look at anybody's husband, ever. You know, like, mm-mm, I ain't, mm, -mm nope. I ain't got nothing to say, okay? <laughs> no thanks. Anyways, Drew's wig gave me life, like I said. I loved it. It kind of, I'm going to really try and get a wig. I really loved it, you know? It looked like a, <laughs> it looked like a poodle's tail or whatever, but it was cool. So, of course, Portia is like, well, uh, it's just as well that Latoya is not here because, girl, she was reading you and your wig. And she's like, what? Drew's like, what? I've only met the girl one time, so why would she be coming for me and my wig? That's kind of ridiculous. So, of course, Portia is like, well, I'm not, I'm not the only one. Candy was there. Cynthia was there. So, you can ask them if you don't believe me. And she doesn't understand why they didn't tell you. And they're like, the girls are like, um, okay. Portia, thanks for throwing that whole tree on the table. That's the shade, okay? And Candy is saying, well, you know, it's not really that big a deal since they're not really friends and all of that, you know, so she didn't really think it was something that she needed to bring to Drew. But okay, girl, we see you. So they said, well, Kenya was there. It's Kenya that actually, you know. So the girl is like, Drew is like, why would she do that to me? You know, I don't know her. I'm like, and she, so of course, like, and she goes into the fact that Kenya is showing up the way Kenya, and she's doing it well, and she, Kenya's like, oh, girl, did I just get red? Yes, bitch, you just got red. <laughs> 
she and then of course we don't she doesn't say anything there but you know she goes into her confessional and then she's like you know look at me i can dress up in the paper bag and i'll still outdress true you know let's not even go into the beauty department i'm like kenya you could have said that at the table instead of waiting to get into the green room and the shade room to say that you could have said girl don't come for me okay i, I wish i just wish I mean, I know some people, they try to be funny, but however, I just thought that that was malicious, yeah, right? Like, yeah, you, you guys took a dig at her and her wig, and you laughed, so it's okay for her to take a dig at you. And of course, Portia is saying, you know what, Latoya ain't here, so she's got to take a dig at someone. <laughs> so they get to having the dinner, and of course... They're saying, oh, we did about, talking about the South Carolina trip, what's going to happen. And of course, you see Drew throwing some shade. She's like, oh, so are, we, are you going to come in another sprinter or something? And she's like, no, we're going to go in, we're going to go ahead of you guys. Oh, a private jet. Yeah, I just got the idea because Portia said Fallon had a private jet. So she's like, why not? You know, and all the other ladies are like, oh, what in the world? And at this point, it's just for the other four ladies. And you can see that Cynthia and Candy didn't even know. And they're like, uh... The sprinter, the private jet, sprinter, the private, yeah, the private jet, definitely. You know, so you can see the ladies are like, what in the world is going on? And how come Latoya is the friend of choice? And I think at this point, the other ladies are beginning to see right through Kenya, right? Finally. <laughs> well, anyways, we'll see, what's, we'll see what's going to happen. So the ladies are going to be on the sprinter while Kenya, Latoya, her daughter and her and her daughter's um, nanny will be on the private jet. So it's kind of like, okay, let's see. Sasha is out, okay? Sasha is who the hand drew, you know, personality. And they're like, yeah. So Ralph is going to be having himself some Sasha, okay? And they're like asking Chef Love, you can let yourself out, okay? Thanks for dinner. <laughs> Bye, girl. Ooh, so Candy and Todd are going to be, they're kind of getting ready for the trip and she's talking with Todd and they're like, oh yeah, what are we going to do for the baby, sh for the, the, um, for the wedding, Cynthia's wedding. And he went with Ralph to get the fitting and he has to plan a bachelor party. And kind of like, oh, I probably have also have to plan a bachelorette party for Cynthia, which is kind of good. So they're going to be going strip, strip club hopping, uh, hopping. So we'll see how that turns out. Next on the trip or the pre-trip. So let's start with the pre-trip, okay? So the pre-trip, Portia gets in first and she's like, oh, I miss my baby, I miss PJ. I was crying, I was sobbing this morning. And Candy like, yeah, she's getting her last hugs in, you know, with the kids. You know, she's got eggs and she's going to be leaving Blaze and home and all of that. But yeah, it's good to kind of be able to get away and all of that. So Portia comes with Shamia. We haven't seen Shamia. And did you guys notice that Shamia has finally gotten her first um, green green room um, video? I was kind of like, okay, Shamia, finally. This has been a long time coming. Moving on. So, of course, obviously the ladies are like, okay, Dennis is here too. Okay. So they're winking at Portia. What's going on? Dennis is trying to sneak a kiss in. You know, and he's like, yeah, Dennis just decided to drop her off and all of that. And they're like, mm hmm Portia, once that Henny goes through, mm hmm you'll be busting it wide open. <laughs> I think that's a little unfair though, but well, yes, it is what it is. But I better to have it with Dennis than anybody else, right? In my opinion. Moving on. <laughs> So the ladies are get on the on the bus and of course we see Marlo. Marlo comes and he has Matt suit and we're like, what in the world? Marlo's like, yep, I ain't I ain't playing with you bitches. I'm go I, yeah, keep your distances. I'm gonna check you all and make sure you guys are good. You know, Drew also comes, Ralph brings her as well, so she's very excited. Drew was showing Ralph off yesterday on Instagram. Girl, you better hide him. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I tell you in Kenya, the ladies are on the are on the bus. And Latoya and Kenya are going private jet. And they're like, yeah! So we're Brooklyn, of course. And then they get there and they're like twerking and then they get to, into, the, into, the, into the rooms. And of course, they're like, you know what? We're going to just give the rooms out. And at this point, Kenya is going to be giving Marlo a shitty room because she says, oh, she heard what Marlo said about her. Because Marlo had said to Latoya to be careful and mind her secrets with Kenya because Kenya is going to pull those secrets out, you know, and, tell, and use them against you later in life. And she's like, why would Marlo say that and all of that? So she's like, Marlo is going to get a shitty room with, with no view, okay? <laughs> so moving on. Ladies are still on the bus and then they get to talking about what's going on with Portia and Dennis and Portia like yeah they went for dinner and yeah they're getting it yeah, we'll see. 
they're friends, they're still in the friend zone, and everybody's like, girl, the way we see it, you guys are friends with benefits, okay? Period. Okay? Yeah. So, um, of course, you get to talking about how the other ladies are, because the ladies are sweating from places they didn't even know existed. They're sweating through their pussy, under their boobs. <laughs> they're sweating, okay? And they're like, what in the world? How are Kenya them going to get there? Of course, Cynthia is all not on the bus because she said she had some kind of prior commitment, but she'll be driving. Yeah, she, she probably knew what's going to happen. And she's like, mm-mm, mm-mm, bitches, mm-mm. <laughs> or maybe she doesn't want to fall ill also. Who knows? Anyways. They get to talking about the fact that uh, Kenya and Latoya are on the private jet and like, what? Some of the ladies didn't know, Marlo didn't know, Tanya didn't know, so they're like, and Shamia didn't know, they're like, mm-hmm, that's what it is. And they're like, what? what did, and of course, you see, at this point, Candy's a little like, hmm, because like, I actually heard Candy speaking up on her speak on it, and she was like, she's not jealous, you know, but she's like, Kenya, I'm seeing right through you, like, you just met this girl through me, and how come all of a sudden you're picking her and doing trips with her, like, as Latoya, that is, of course, everybody's kind of feeling some way, and or Candy, of, obviously, is feeling some way, then, of course, Marlo goes and finds an Instagram picture in which they see uh, Kenya's daughter on the, on the private jet, and you're like, what? And Portia like, no, this is very unfair. No, 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 no. That at least Kenya should have given them a heads up and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to be bringing my daughter. Do you want to bring your daughter? Do you want PJ to come? Can Blaze be there? Shamia also has a baby. Do you? And also, and actually, even Drew. So like, four of the ladies actually have little kids. So it would have just been nice to have said to them, hey, guys, I'm bringing my daughter along. You know, like, if you guys want that option, that is also, you know, there. So Portia like, no, she's not here for it. Uh, the other ladies are a little upset and totally get it. Drew's like, you know what, she's, she's, she's done. She's done with this. She really wants to go home, you know. I totally get why the ladies are upset. However, it's not that big a deal. But they're also wondering why, at this point, of course, Drew is saying, yeah, she didn't even know why Kenya was being secretive because she now tells the other ladies about the message that she had, had gone between her and Kenya. In which Kenya was saying, don't tell the other ladies that I'm getting a private jet. And of course, she's spilling the tea and telling the ladies that, why is she, she saying not to tell you guys? I got my eyes on Kenya. And Kenya is also saying, hmm, I see that Drew is going to be trying to come come for me. She can't. She didn't keep my secret. So she's like, okay, that's one to watch, you know. We'll see how it's going to end. Next week, the dungeon or the party or the bachelorette party we're going to see what's going to go on there and i think there's going to be some little fracas going on between drew and latoya in which latoya is going to be trying to say girl or drew is trying to say girl i ain't the one okay i'm from chicago sometime thanks for watching guys be sure to subscribe be sure to share and like foxy mama 365 check me out also on instagram yay and facebook yay